Hello. Yes, part two. Jones missed something. It's only just dawned on me now. The penny's just dropped. I done a video a few days ago. I'll leave the link below regarding a Casey Hopkins video that was posted on the Brexit Party Facebook page. Now, when I first saw that video, I said, why would Nigel Farage allow that on the Brexit Party Facebook page? Well, I've only found out today, Nigel Farage is not the leader of the Brexit Party, let alone run its Facebook page. Catherine Blakelock is the leader of the Brexit Party. Not sure who's, who's running the Facebook page, but that's really irrelevant. So that makes sense because Nigel Farage would never have allowed a video of Katie Hopkins posted on the Bre Brexit Party uh, Facebook page calling for unity with Amory Waters and Jared Batten. He'd want nothing to do with them too, and rightly so. But now the pennies dropped. The reason it was posted on there is because Nigel Farage isn't the leader. Catherine Blakelock is, and it looks more evident than ever now that she is a fellow traveller like Casey Hopkins probably worked for the same agency, right? That makes sense now, doesn't it? And also, also, I said I, I had no reason to dispute, I've left the link below the video, a uh, 100,000 people uh, joining uh, the Brexit party uh, in the past 10 days. It was actually seven days a week. I have no reason to dispute it because I believe Nigel Farage was the leader of the party, but now I've found out it's not. It's Catherine Blakelock. So where's the evidence 100,000 people have joined uh, the Brexit party uh, in the past week or so? Well, exactly. I'll tell you what's going to happen here. The Brexit party is going to be bummed up there, loads of publicity, millions joining it, let alone 100,000. And then you know what's going to happen, the sabotage, and then it's going to be crashed right back down to earth with a bang, right from the top of Everest, right to base camp. Trust me, this is what's going to happen. Nigel Farage, they've outwitted you again, like they did Nick Griffin. Talking of Nick Griffin, you're a disgrace, literally, but I won't go into that. That's another video in itself. You know why. But anyway, you've been outfoxed again, outwitted, Nigel, if I may, because... The spies now, the saboteurs, the open or hate agents, government agents, whoever they are, they are now in control of the Brexit party. And it's a foregone conclusion what's going to happen. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, before anyone dismisses your own as paranoid or delusional, wait and see. Watch this space. That's what's going to happen. More sabotage. More mad statements posted on social media and other, uh, you know, um, things that are going to happen that are going to bring the party into disrepute, are going to alienate it from the public, and a lot, lot more. Trust me, it's coming, right? You never listen, Nigel Farage. You should have stayed put when you're leader of UKIP. And what did I say? And it's, it's come true. Before Theresa May, Vincent Price can betray Brexit, she's got to finish off UKIP first. Is that not what's happened? Well, of course, the, the enemy's in control in the form of Jared Batten and many others, no doubt, right? But the same now is going to happen to the Brexit party, right? And you all are not listening, but I'm not really bothered to tell you the truth because the future belongs to British nationalism, right? Because we know where to go. We know now, especially now, courtesy of yours truly, we know the modus operandi of the secret state and its two criminal proxies, Nick Lowe's Hope Not Hate and Jerry Gable's Searchlight Magazine. We can deal with them now once we get our act together. Okay, thank you.